Hello, this is Mr. Payne with another FabSci Excel tutorial. Today we're working on CC5, find the number of solutions to a system of equations. All right, in this module, what we're going to do is we're going to determine the number of solutions based upon looking at two equations. And the key here is to look at the slope and the y-intercept. Now, if you haven't done IXL CC4, I would strongly encourage you to do that first because that's going to help you do this module. Because CC4, what you did is you graphed the two system of equations and then by looking at the graph, you can tell by visually looking at, well, do they cross, do they not cross, or are they the same line? Here, you don't really have the option to graph. All right, so what we're going to do here is we're going to look at uh, learn with an example because learning with an example is going to tell us how to tell if it's no solution, one solution, or infinitely many solutions. So when I click on learn with an example, the key idea is what I'm looking at right here. So how do I tell if the slopes are the same but the y-intercepts are different the system has no solution if the slopes are different the system has one solution so if the slopes are different it doesn't matter what the y-intercept is once the slopes are different automatically it's one solution because the lines have to cross somewhere and the last option if the slopes are the same and the y-intercepts are the same again same slope and same y-intercept, the system has indefinitely um, many solutions. All right, so if you haven't taken a screenshot of this key idea, I would do that because this key idea is basically the answer going through this IXL. So, so take a screenshot, five, four, three, two, one, and back to practice, here we go. All right, I'm gonna walk you through each one of these. Notice that both equations are exactly the same. If both equations are exactly the same, this has to be infinitely many solutions because infinitely many solutions means the equation is the same. So infinitely many solutions, same equation, voila, first 14 points. How nice is that? All right, clear the board. Okay, next case scenario is we have the same slope, but the y-intercepts are different. So these are different here. So which means the slopes are going to be parallel next to each other, but the y-intercepts are going to be at two different points along the y-axis. And when that happens, that's going to be no solution. So again, same slope, different y-intercepts, not going to cross, no solution. All right, next up we have different slopes. Remember, once you have different slopes, automatically they have to cross one time. So one more time, the slopes are different, always one solution. So one solution there at the freebie. Okay, take a look again. The slopes are different. Different slope, different slope, and guess what? One solution again. All right, next equation, we have the same slope. So one solution is out because the slopes are the same. So we can't have one solution. Now we got to figure out, well, is it no solution or infinitely many solutions? Because they have the same y-intercept and the same slope, well, it can't be no solution because that means two different lines. And what this means here is they're both the same line. So we're going to go ahead and choose infinitely many solutions. Rolling light right along here. All right. Take a look at these two equations. Exactly the same. Same slope. Same y-intercept. Hey, even got my notes from the last problem. Also, infinitely many solutions. All right, here we're going to clear the board. This one has changed. So here we have the same slope. Okay, when it's the same slope, one solution has been eliminated. But the y-intercept is different. So because we have a different y-intercept, this one has to be a no solution. Now, if the y-intercept was the same, then choose infinitely many solutions. So again, no solution, different y-intercepts. All right, next one, we got two equations. Notice that the slopes are the same. So when the slopes are the same, one solution has been eliminated. Now it's going to come down to the y-intercept. A negative 10 and a positive 10 over 7 are different, which means no solution.
So we're going to go ahead and choose no solution. All right, next equations we have y equals negative 10x plus 2 for both. So the rule here is because both y, uh, both slopes are the same, so one solution has been eliminated, and because both y-intercepts are the same, it has to be infinitely many solutions. So again, same equation, infinitely many solutions. Hola. And looks like we got two more equations to do. Um, here, checking the slope. Notice the slopes are different. And once the slopes are different, automatically one solution. So again, different slopes, one solution has to be. Simple as that. And our last equation, um, they're being sneaky here. Always on the last problem, they're being sneaky. So notice that they get rid of uh, the y-intercept. So what exactly is happening here? If you notice here, they look different. They have x and 2x, 2y and 4y, and 10 and 20. Now, I want to unveil something here. First of all, when an x is by itself, it has to be a 1x. Now, what I want you to notice is, is it possible to go from the first equation to the second equation by multiplying something? So what can we multiply the first equation to the second equation? To me, this looks like a camouflaged multiply by two equation. So which means there are actually infinitely many solutions. Why? Because 1x plus 2y equals 10. But if I multiply times 2, watch what happens to the equation. 1 times 2 is now 2x. 2 times 2 is now 4y, and 10 times 2 is equal to 20. Therefore, this sneaky equation is that one there. When they are multiples, it's actually the same equation. So again, if you can find a multiple, it's actually the same equation. This one has to be infinitely many solutions. All right, that concludes this fabulous IXL tutorial for CC5. Have a fantastic day. You got this.